Hi Aquarius, welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your weekly reading. Uh, this is Anything Goes, can be about career, love, finances, situations with family, friends, just whatever messages come out that you are meant to hear. This will be uh, the week of May 3rd uh, through the 9th. Timing is flexible and of course it is a general reading. Everything else uh, below it, it, you can check out. Uh, personal readings, just email me prior to booking on my website. Also, um, I have a new channel called Heal to Love 333. It's a meditation, healing, and manifestation channel. I have some popular uh, links below. If you'd like to check it out, uh, there's some meditations for opening up the chakras so that you can manifest love and abundance in your life, clearing blockages. I am a Reiki therapist, so I do incorporate Reiki energy uh, to help with that as well. And then um, there's also a new one that is manifesting your true love as well. So check that out if you like. Subscribe, like, comment. I do appreciate your support. And uh, if I didn't talk about the giveaway, I do a monthly giveaway, so details are below to enter. So let's get started with your reading. And I'm just gonna adjust the camera just a little bit. Okay, so let's see what you have here. All right, so your first card, this is from the uh, Healing Oracle, I think that's what it's called. It's called Balance. I find a balance between each sphere of my life. I am the master of my daily life. I make time to nourish the spiritual and the physical. I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and my soul. So beautiful energy there. This is uh, very significant of the crown chakra energy. So you may be receiving uh, messages. You may be feeling very connected. Your crown chakra may be opening up as well. Uh, so really listen to your intuition, your thoughts, your feelings, um, but this is a good, um, I want to say too, this is a good affirmation that you could say daily if you are trying to open up your crown chakra or be more connected and obviously feel balanced. So I tell people you can take a screenshot, you can say this daily if you'd like, it will help with that. And let's see what you got from the animal spirit. All right, so you have uh, number 16, I'm sorry, 68, which is 14, which is five, and you also have number 60, which is six. You have the wombat spirit, be at home, okay? So some of you may be feeling like your home buddies right now uh, with the, the swan spirit, time for a deep dive. All right, so I feel like there's something here um, that maybe you're needing to look more into the details. Okay, there might be something else going on here that you're, you need to look more into the details or maybe some of you need to get out, okay, what I'm hearing as well. Put yourself out there in some aspect, like if you're wanting to meet someone in love, uh, I feel you may need to do that. It can also be maybe there's a project or something else you're working on and you need to do some research, okay, really investigate. Okay, so let's ooh, let's pull some cards from the tarot. I'm going to pull one card for the overall energy, and the bottom of the deck will be your challenge for the week, and then we'll pull uh, recent past, current energy, and near future. So let's get one card for the overall energy for Aquarius. There it is. Fell out. You have the three of pentacles. All right, so... This may be a time that you're needing to work with someone, okay? I feel like uh, also I'm hearing the message, a uh, time where you may need to be on the same page with someone. Uh, feeling too with this balance card, maybe there's something here where something is not in balance between you and somebody else and you need to really um, investigate the situation, really uh, take time, I feel, uh, maybe to work with this person, okay? There's something here that needs to be said about that. And then you have the strength card. Okay, so you may need some courage. 
So I'm getting the energy there's something, a situation where it may not be at balance at this time. You may be spending a lot of time at home, but they're saying you need to get out. I feel like you need to get out. You need to collaborate. Maybe you need to be with other people, okay? But there's something here I feel holding you back with the strength card. This is also Leo energy, okay? Maybe you're needing the courage to do something in your situation. And then um, you also got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. So let's pull a few cards. For Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? May 3rd through the 9th. Let's get three cards. All right. Oh, look at that. Three of Swords. Now I know why you're having a hard time with this. Oh, Five of Cups. And the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck here. Yeah, I feel there's someone that you're needing to. I feel like there's somebody you're needing to work something out. It's definitely showing me here or you're wanting to work out something with someone, whether it's to find your own spiritual balance or whether it's to find balance between you and this person. And it can be anybody. It can be a friend, a lover, um, a family member, okay, what have you. But I feel like you're going back and forth, okay, in this situation. It's definitely showing an imbalanced situation here you have the hangman which shows me you know that uh it can be i i always see this too as complicated or maybe you're trying to see things from a different perspective and that might be why you have the swan spirit telling you to really dive deep into the details there may be more than what meets the eye is what i'm hearing you also have the page of pentacles so I feel like there could be some sort of uh, good news uh, coming in for you. This also can be you being very practical and logical about the situation because I do see there's some sort of heavy load you're carrying here and a lot of confusion and needing to take some time to yourself to really gain clarity. So let's go through here. You have the Three of Swords and you have the Five of Cups. Okay, this is showing up in your recent uh, past. So I show there was something here definitely very hurtful, painful that you went through. It's over, okay, as far as uh, it already happened. But you're definitely going through some healing. I feel like you're still feeling sad about this. You may be focused on what happened in your situation but this is also a card to tell you there's two cups behind this person so it's telling you that there is something there is whatever whatever this is for you there is hope there with those two two cups now you have the two of swords as well i feel you're trying to get the strength to make some sort of decision i feel like you're very indecisive about it i feel you may have some fears but I feel whatever your situation, I feel like uh, you're being guided here <clears throat> to really try and find some balance here. And I feel like there needs to be cooperation or you may need to work with someone on this. Now, if it resonates better the other way, then take it that way because roles can be reversed as well. So we definitely have your energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and we have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Earth energy. So, and then there's the fire. Aries, Leo, Sag, Three of Wands, the World card, and you have the Two of Wands and bottom of the deck, yeah, Five of Pentacles. I feel whatever this hurt is, I definitely get here. There's a feeling of lack, a feeling of hurt, maybe feeling unsupported. <clears throat> You have the three of wands. I feel because of this hurt, this this loss, whatever happened, it's really making you think about the future. What's ahead? Uh, what's coming your way? What are your options? What are your alternatives type of energy? But this also can too, I always see this as an energy of just trying to go with the flow. Okay, just let what comes to you, um, you know, while you're healing. Okay, going with the flow here. And then you have the world card. So I feel like there was some sort of ending or shift here. This is also uh, your energy, also Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. 
So whatever came to a close here or the end of a cycle can be, you know, closing out a chapter in your life. I feel like, you know, definitely it was very disappointing, but I also get here too. The world card too brings um, success as well, brings balance, brings clarity. And that was your first message is balance. So I feel you're being guided here to look at your options, look at your future, Okay, what's ahead of you? Okay, instead of focusing on this past energy. Now you also have the two of wands. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, there's some sort of decision. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> My allergies are always, uh, you know, off the charts. But you have the two of wands and I feel like you're looking to the future, right? There's a decision here you're having to make. I feel like you're having a hard time letting go. What's really catching my eye, my eye what spirit is showing me on the three of wands and the two of the wands, this person has their hand on one option. So I feel two messages here. Either you're having a hard time letting something go, okay, this five of cups energy, or I feel you know the right decision. You know the decision, you just haven't made it yet. And that's the energy I'm getting. And that's why I feel we had you had the strength card earlier. All right. I'm also getting with the wombat spirit or wombat spirit that um, be at home is that this is something that really hits you at home. Something that is really, uh, I feel close to your heart. You know, it was very painful. Let's pull a few more cards for Aquarius. Okay, you have the Judgment card. You have the Magician. Oh gosh, and you have the Five of Pentacles again. And then bottom of the deck here, you have the Four of Swords. What's going on, Aquarius? All right, Judgment card. Yeah, again, there's a Judgment call you're having to make. Definitely a decision you're having to make too. I feel there's something to be learned from this situation. I feel like there's karma around this. And it may have to be, um, I feel like seeing things from a different perspective, working it out with someone, diving a little bit deeper with the swan spirit Okay, looking at things from a different perspective. I feel like it's almost like you're blinded here. Okay, you're not seeing, I feel like you're not seeing everything in the situation. <clears throat> you have the magician. Okay, so this talks about a new beginning, making things happen in your life. I feel there's a shift. Okay, a new beginning happening for you, but you have to take the steps towards it. And that's where I was saying, I feel like you know the decision here, but you just haven't moved forward from it. And then you have the Five of Pentacles, all right? So Two of Swords, Two of Wands, and Five of Pentacles. I feel like you know that there is something lacking in the situation, and you know that there's a decision that has to be made. But I feel you're focusing... Um, on the past okay maybe you're having a hard time getting over the situation or you're still healing and that's okay they're saying take some time to um, gain some clarity some balance all right and you know maybe you need to do that at home but you have the ten of pentacles here so i get it could possibly be a relationship all right it could be uh your financial stability within your family oh all right, let's see what came out here. You got the Justice card, Strong Libra energy. Yeah, I feel like this situation is hard for you because I feel like you weren't treated right in a situation. And I feel that's where you're having a hard time. It can be too, you're just needing clarity, okay? Needing clarity in your situation, need more details. Let's pull another card. Okay, you have the Tower. And you have the lovers card okay and then the bottom of the deck here you have the three of cups so interesting so you have the justice card the tower card and the lovers i feel like let's see what you have here the three of cups oh i feel like actually okay interesting
So I'm getting two scenarios and I'm going to have to clarify, but I get, uh, I feel like somebody is returning or you have a new person coming in, you know, because you also have there the page of cups, you have the page of cups, the knight of wands, something's coming in very passionately. It can be a new love. This can be a new offer too, okay? If this has to do with a work situation, can be a new job offer that's coming in pretty quickly, something you're gonna feel passionate about. You have the Six of Cups too. So this can be somebody here that definitely thinks about you, somebody who may even come in with some sort of gift, especially with the Six of Cups and the um, Page of Cups. And then you have the King of Pentacles and you have the Three of Cups. I feel, you know, you're going to need some patience here, but I feel there is something nice coming in. I feel like you're going through a situation. You're having to make decisions. You're, ha you're trying to gain clarity. And then I feel like out of the blue, something happens here. Okay, definitely a shift. I feel like it's after this decision, all right, this crossroads energy, because boom, then here comes the tower. But let's clarify the tower card. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the tower here? Okay, you have the hermit. You have the sun card. Very nice. And you have, yeah, look at that. There's something nice coming in for you. So eight of cups. Yeah, that's the decision here. There's something that um, is not serving you. Something that you're not feeling good about, okay, feeling unsupported or feeling lack in some sort of way. And with the Eight of Cups, you know, that's the energy of, you know, walking away from something, but also in search for something better or something that is actually emotionally fulfilling. And that's what I was saying here with this Three of Wands. I feel this is the energy of you you know, opening up your options. What are your alternatives? What what do you see in your future? Because I do see success here with the world card, a change for success, but it's it's you have to take that path towards uh, something new, okay? Leaving this behind, okay? And it can, you may have already walked away from it, but maybe you're still focused on the hurt, the pain, the loss, whatever it was for you. Now you have uh, the hermit, the sun and the star card. So, you know, maybe you're spending a lot of time at home, like I said here, could be dealing with the Virgo, but I feel you're really trying to listen to your intuition, okay, your wisdom here in the situation. Look at that, you have the sun card, strong Leo energy. So I feel there is a shift happening here. Um, that is putting you where you are destined to be. And then here is your energy here, Aquarius. Okay, so I feel there is going to be some justice in the matter that's gonna bring you clarity. It's going to bring you balance, but there's a decision that you have to make first, I feel, before this happens. Now it can be, um, I feel like for some of you, this could be, uh, some of you may even be going through legal separation or divorce, okay? That's not gonna be for all of you. Um, but I feel like the justice for you is that you are going to find your happiness. As I said, there's some sort of new offer coming in, okay? Or there is, an, there could, this could even be an apology. This could be an apology from someone from your past very much so I'm seeing that as well but for others I feel like this is a new offer coming in for you whether it's love or if it's career okay I'm just going to ask why the lover's card is here thank you angels and spirit for your guidance well I actually wrong deck here why is the lover's card here please why is the lover's card here two of cups Oh my gosh, Ace of Pentacles, and look, bottom of the deck here, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there is a new love offer coming in for you or a new job offer coming in for you. And look at this. It's going to bring you a lot of stability, okay, for the long term. A lot of abundance, I feel, very strong connection. Can also be a new soulmate connection here. But there, like I said, there's something you need to move on from here or you may already be in the process okay if this is love i feel like this is somebody new coming in for you could be an earth sign 
if this is not love, I feel there is some sort of good news that's coming your way. And I feel like this is going to happen within about four weeks. Uh, timing can change. I feel over the next few weeks, you're going through this healing and some sort of decision making. So let's uh, pull a few cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. See what additional messages come in for you. A leg up, 34, 7. All right. I feel like this could be a challenge, okay? Maybe you're needing to uh, feel a little bit motivated. Maybe you're needing some help. That can also be this collaboration, teamwork um, situation. You know, this can be, you know, maybe you need to um, get out, okay? Be with friends or talk with friends or something like that. There's something here where I feel you're needing a little bit of help from somebody to get motivated, to get started again. You have time for a nap, number 24, which is six. So, you know, maybe you're feeling exhausted, all right? Uh, I do see some, you know, residual emotion healing here. Okay, so don't uh, be afraid to take a nap, get your rest there. Oh, let's get another card. And then you have, look at that, new life, yes. Number 12, or 39, which is 12, which is three. Yeah, you have a whole new uh, shift happening here. I see happiness, I see success. You being where you're destined to be. I feel like you're gonna get through this, you're gonna get through your healing. And I feel like once you make this decision, decision or judgment call that you're having to make, about your future i feel there is a whole brand new life happening for you embrace it okay embrace the new and look at this you have a change in the wind so i feel like you're manifesting here a whole new life and i feel like it's going to happen quicker than you think okay a change in the wind okay that's something that's going to just shift but i feel like it's after this decision letting go of something that I feel is no longer serving you. So Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Again, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway or check out my new channel. I hope you have a wonderful rest of day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.